Hello, and welcome to another episode of Masterpiece Theatre. Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at my 2016 Fiesta ST. What it's like to own it for a year, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We're going to get into it all. There's no really driving this car like this when you're really trying to get on it. The torque steer is so immense in certain spots and it will move the car on you dramatically. So you have to watch out for that. I'm in the first full year of my lease, three year lease. And this car has been spectacular. I really don't have anything that I really don't like about it except for little minor things that can be changed. We'll show you about the carpet up in front. Every once in a while you'll dip the clutch down and it'll lift the mat up with it. That's not a good thing. Besides that, I've had a few other small issues. One well-known issue is the intercooler couplers. The intercooler is front mount on this car and with that weak motor mount that it used to have, when the motor would pull, it would pull itself away from the intake coupler. It'd cause a boost leak. Another issue was this strange wrench light that appeared on my dash one day. It was a, almost about a year into it. It was about 8,500 miles. I couldn't find anything about this anywhere in the supplement manual and the actual manual for all Fiestas. Thankfully I found out that it is an oil reset light, figured out how to reset it, reset it successfully and made a small video about it. One thing that has not gotten better is the HVAC controls. When you switch from cold to hot, it blasts you with arctic cold air out of the vents for about five seconds until you hear this switch kick over and then it starts switching the heat. Seating is another controversial aspect of this. There's a Recaro package, which I have, and there's a cloth package. And the cloth package, I guess, sits you a little lower in the car. And a lot of people like the cloth over that because you are kind of high up just like the Focus RS. The leather hasn't worn out at all. These are the closest thing. I have a real Corbo race seat and they're one of the closest things you can get. But the craziest thing is, is they're fully adjustable and they're heated. The seat heaters are the quickest seat heaters ever. It is also $2,000. So if you do want to cut costs and make this car very affordable, you can do that. The bolsters will start to fit you nicely on the sides because the seats do break in. This is 2,700. So with me in this, I'm not even reaching 3,000 pounds. If the STI were a sumo wrestler, this would be an 80 pound gymnast. The weighting of the clutch is so light that it doesn't ruin your leg. It doesn't get you tired. And right out of the box in stock form, this thing performs. and it does it well. It's got such a long gearing. I mean, it feels like a naturally aspirated in some aspects because it's so long from third to 6,000 RPM sometimes. You're just sitting there waiting for it. It's incredible. Let's see, we'll get, the, get into the revs here. And there's over 80 miles an hour that quick. So this thing just goes. And in the right gear, it, it'll go even harder for you. It does start to lose it a little bit up at the top, as you saw there. You get that mid-range. That's where this thing loves it. This has mid-range power for days. Electronic stability control can be fully shut off in this car, making it a full hoonage car. You can go crazy, you can pull the e-brake, spin the damn thing around. It is front wheel drive, you just have to remember, when you do let the rear end out, you're not gonna be able to hold it with throttle. I hang this car out a little bit. Wow. Let's <laughs> roll ESC completely off. Now we're gonna dip the e-brake in a little bit. Like you can definitely hang it out around the corners. Even a little left foot brake.
The steering is electric, so there's no real connection. There's no hydraulic connection and there's no feedback from the steering wheel about what the wheels are doing. Thankfully, the suspension's taut enough that you feel everything through the tires and the suspension. Shortened steering arm, really don't have to do much to make a lot happen. Brakes, I have never had even a squirm or a fail and I was on a Canyon Road downhill. ST tuned front pads. I'll tell you, this is just an excellent, excellent car. Everything came together on this car, the way the suspension is. It's taking a economy car, a Fiesta, and making it into a performance sports car that you could take to an autocross and blaze this thing in stock form. And you can take this to the track and probably do a couple laps before the brakes will fade which is, that's all you can ask for in a car like this. It's only $25,000 with a $900 nav screen and $2,000 worth of seating. The SYNC 3 system is incredible. All the steering wheel controls for the cruise control and SYNC. Press the button in the middle on the left control. Play. I didn't get that. You can say AM, FM, USB, navigation, Sirius, or travel link. If the phone is connected, you can say call, followed by the name of the contact like call John Smith or dial followed by the phone number like dial 555-0155 I feel like I'm Knight Rider Kit, we're gonna need an address I didn't get that